I think there are five things which could have greatly improved the rise of Skywalker's overall story. And if you already love the movie, no worries. I actually have come around to enjoying this film a lot. Sure, I think it's still a bit of a mess in regards to its editing, and basically it's two hours of exposition, but either way, it's fun. So let's talk about what I think could have improved the rise of Skywalker. And just to clarify again, these are my opinions on the film. Perfectly fine if you think it's perfect as it is. And also, spoiler warning, in case you have not seen the film yet, I will be diving into a couple plot points, so that's it. There's your warning. So number one, it would have been more impactful within the story to witness Kylo Ren, the supreme leader of the First Order, react to the information regarding the existence of the Old Emperor. It would have been a great way to introduce allegiant General Pride and Hux within the first few moments of the film, explaining this galactic broadcast, telling their emotionally unstable leader that his power may be at risk right now. Kylo Ren reacting to something challenging his galactic domination would be paramount to his journey throughout this film. He is no longer interested in masters telling him who he is meant to become, and this could have given us an early cue into Pride's allegiance with Palpatine, allowing Pride, who was a former Imperial officer serving the Emperor, to explain that there is a device that he just happens to know about which would aid in Kylo's quest to finding answers about this Phantom Emperor. And then we would finally end up on Mustafa with purpose, watching Kylo dominate his way towards the Wayfinder. Number two, a John Kloss should have been set up as the final place of Leia and Luke's training within the first act of the film. Every piece of equipment that Rey uses is leftover training gear from Luke and Leia from 30 years prior, and the training course itself was created by the twins. I don't think that we need to place the flashback of their training together within the first act. I think it works where it lives, but the context up front would have greatly added to the importance of these training grounds. Without this context, it seems that somehow Rey and Leia whipped up this entire parkour course, and it also hammers home that Rey was trained by both Skywalkers. Luke and Leia made these grounds, making her choice at the end of the film concerning her name less obtuse. Number 3. When Rey returns to Ahch 2, I think that should have officially been her third and final lesson from Luke Skywalker, even if he was a Force ghost. It pretty much just plays out like exposition and a bit of fan service with the X-Wing coming out of the water. Yay. Rey is doing what Luke did. Luke says he's wrong for why he was on the island, but why not let Rey come to her own realization of what is fueling her fear rather than giving that line to Luke Skywalker? Luke saying, it's because you're a Palpatine, takes away from that info that's just Jading in Rey's mind, and ultimately speaking that truth aloud to herself and former master would be pretty powerful. Acceptance. Imagine Rey stating to Luke Skywalker that she believes she's fundamentally dangerous and evil and she wants to stay in the island, and Luke explaining to her that he and Ben also have a similar background and story, and that Rey ought to know better knowing this, and that there is always a better choice, and that blood doesn't determine outcome. That's the underlying message of this story anyways. Sure, there was an attempt at this idea by Luke talking about some things being stronger than blood, but again, this all gets lost in translation because of how fast we're often on the island and it's all pretty much just quick talk and then boom, we're gone. Number four, I think that since Force Ghost Luke is essentially omniscient now, he should have brought up Ben Solo with Rey, knowing that Rey wanted to take Ben's hand. Luke most likely knows the full circumstances surrounding his nephew's fall now, being in the netherworld of the Force, and understands it wasn't only his altercation in the hut which created Kylo Ren, but that there was this ever-present shadow dominating his nephew and family's destiny, and that just like Rey, Ben Solo still has a choice to come back and break the chains of his bloodline as well, to face his fear and become Ben Solo again. Imagine that motivational factor pushing Rey to face her own bloodline. Number 5. Rather than cutting right to Rey going to Tatooine to close out the film, I think there should have been a bit of a consideration about her pilgrimage before we see it happen. It would have been a nice down-tempo moment after this new victory celebration scene where Rey talks about needing to do one last thing before starting her new journey as the current heir to the Jedi, and that would be traveling to where the story of Skywalker began, and finally laying it to rest by virtue of the two Skywalker blades. Now, I have no issues with the ending of this film, but again, 
again, I wish JJ allowed for there to be some reason and context between scenes so we can feel the emotional resonance with what we are seeing. Because it is beautiful seeing the lightsabers get buried into the sand of Tatooine. And I get some of the irony surrounding the Anakin Skywalker blade going into the sand. However, I understand Rey's mentality if I look through it through this lens of what I just said, of it being a pilgrimage to honor the twins of the Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker was of Tatooine, so was Luke. Why not have that be the final burial ground? But like I'm saying, it just lacked emotional context and we needed some more story context as well. And that's it. Those are the five things that I think would have improved the rise of Skywalker for myself overall. And I'm sure that there are plenty of other things that other people have on their minds that would have improved this movie that I haven't even considered. And other people that think it's perfect the way it is. So either way, leave your comments down below. I'm very curious as to what you think of what I thought would improve the movie. And as always, may the force be with you. Adat is signing off. Thank you.